G'day folks, you're with Steve. We're at the uh, Tyconnell Mine in Blackwood. I'm going to give you a fairly detailed video on this mine, including the everything around the site. These are old train tracks going into the adit there. Old shed. This was worked, well it was speculated in the late 80s. My dad actually worked here as a geologist for a little while, including a few other people I know locally. It was last worked in the late 1950s. And we got a lot of uh, mullock heaps around. This is one of my favourite mines in the area. Now up here, it may not look like it, but behind there, there's another massive mullock heap. To my right here, we've got a big water race, still full of water. And over here, we've got the old drainage pond. Still pretty full of water. And that's where they would have pumped all the water from the mine into. This is what you'll come to if you ever find it. Just an old shed. Alright, I'll take you into the adit now. So here we've got old pipes and a water race. And this is the entrance to the adit. Full of water. So I've got to wade through this. Here's the entrance. Now, according to my dad, in the late 1980s, it was only speculated to try and get investors to rework it. It was a low tonnage mine, but high grade. It's very silted up water here. Steel tracks go all the way down. And this is um, spring fed. You might be able to hear it on the video. Blowing quite nicely. Here we go, 50 metres. Alright, so we're here now. As you can see, there's a false floor there. And that goes up into a shaft. And I'd say when they first worked this mine, the shaft would be the first thing they put in. They would have tested and sampled everything and found that there's gold. And they would have worked it both ways, made the adit, and continued on. These big lines you see here are actually air compressor lines. And you've got wires for lighting. So back when they were speculating this, they would have had things we call boggers, which are big shovels, which fill up the ore carts that run on air, and air leggers and drills, which also run on air. Because you can't have anything that runs on petrol or anything, because you'll suffocate with the fumes. So they use compressed air, and I'll have a big air compressor up the top. Look behind us, we've come this far in now. That's all I can see is the entrance there. So we're probably in about 150, 200 metres now. 
Okay. It's about 30 degrees outside at the moment, and it's probably about 15 to 20 degrees in here. It's flowing water, and it's probably pretty clean too, I'd say. Right here, we can are coming up to an intersection. halfway through the mine, 250 metres. So we'll go to the right. This is where they were doing a lot of speculating. And it stinks in here. So they would have been doing a bit of blasting in here. And right here you can see this is a shaft and the water is just flowing out of it. And you can see how clear it is. You can see everything in there. Over here you've got an old ladder. We we'll climb down it but they'll drown so. This is where the airlines go in this big tank. I'm guessing to keep the pressure sufficient. And my dad said this was about three levels, so that's a multi level shaft. So he went to the first two levels, and the first level was the best, he said. It was the most interesting. That there looks to be an old ore cart. This is probably where they did the most speculating. They would have been pumping all the water out, going down there, blasting the drilling and sending it out through the trucks and testing it. We'll continue on down the main shaft. You can see the tracks change from steel to wooden tracks. Now we come to a lot of um, timbers here. They put this up because the ground's become unstable. They need to support the ground with these timbers. This is to the left. We keep going. See all this pink tape here? It gets a bit sketchy past here, so. Come from another section here. Keep his eye. There's a lot of water flowing through this mine. And that's not what you want to see. You can see how much stress all these timbers are under. Another little left hand here, which goes to a collapse. Three seventy-five meters in now. The first time I found this mine was probably six years ago. I couldn't believe how far it went. The further we get in, everything just changes. It becomes a lot more moist. Everything is dripping off the ceiling.
for 50 meters. few different stories but this would have gone further could have connected up to the grace of the Gurdon just down the road or the Sultana or the Pioneer or even the Sultan uh, it's one we've got now and who knows how much longer this will be here but this is a very stable mine compared to a lot of other mines around here definitely one of my favourites lots to see But if you ever are to come across a pencil at your own risk, you need a bit of courage to do it because it is a bit sketchy at places. Stay safe guys, I hope you enjoyed.